Hey guys, in today's video, we're going to be installing some roll bar storage bags by Zomzima. These are some really nice triangular shaped bags that go in the space between the roll bar and the back seats. Uh, it fits neatly into that triangular space and they are fantastic. I absolutely love them. So let's go check them out. A big thank you to Zomzima for providing the product for this video. This kit contains two bags and they arrive with some assembly required. You get the bag, two plastic panels, four toggles, and an American flag patch. You can see here there is loads of storage on the outside of the bag, along with the main storage on the inside as well. There are four mounting points, two along the top, two along the side, there's a carry handle, and there's even an over-the-shoulder strap as well. To put the bag together properly, you need to first unzip it. My initial reaction was to just put the plastic panels inside the bag and contour them around the edges. But there are actually Velcro tie downs for the panels and also two slots for the plastic panels to slide into. One at the top of the bag and one at the bottom of the bag. Depending where you want to start, look for a seam on the top or the bottom on the outside of the bag. Line up the edge of the plastic panel with that seam. Note where you want to bend it and then fold it and really bend that shape in place. Don't crush it flat, but make sure that you give it a good shape. Lay the panel on the bag and follow the contour again and find the next place that you want to bend it. And now you've shaped the first part of the bag panel. You're now going to slide that panel into one of the slots and it's a very tight fit. So just have some patience and it'll slide in there. Open up the Velcro flaps and mount the panel in place. And then shape the second plastic panel to follow the contour of the bag and slide that panel into the other side of the slot and secure it in place with Velcro flaps. plastic panels go all the way around the edge of the bag now, making them almost like a suitcase and they're held in place with velcro. Next zip the two main panels back together. You can attach the included American flag patch. And then there are two zipper toggles for the front. and then two for the back panel. Repeat this for the second bag and you're good to go. Mounting them is very easy. There's four clasps that are adjustable that go over the roll bar. Pull the straps tight in the same orientation as the clasp. And repeat for the other three mounting points. I have some aftermarket aluminum hooks in the way here, so it made it a little bit more difficult, but nonetheless, I got it installed. For the final two, pull the straps tight after you've clipped them together and then just placed any excess strap up on top of the bag.
on the driver's side. You don't necessarily have to remove these connections, but I didn't want to crush them as I put the bag in place. And this one mounts in exactly the same way. You can see here there is a whole plethora of different storage pockets on the front. A variety of small pockets along the front here for tools and the like. A couple of loop fasteners on the molly panel. You could put a fire extinguisher in there I guess or a tripod. These bags are waterproof and as you can see the zipper even has waterproof lining over it as well. Here I'm just showing some of the capacity of the bag as I open it up. Here's a tow strap, air down kit, tire repair kit, and a folding shovel. On the other side, a battery quick start and power bank, some extension tools, an extra bimini top, and some spare bungee cords. As I mentioned previously, these bags have carry handles and an over the shoulder strap as well, and a water bottle pouch on the front edge. and they fill the void in the back by the soft top mechanism so they don't impede your vision at all. And with there being zippers on both sides, you can access them from outside the Bronco as well. So there you go, a little bit of assembly up front. The plastic pieces that come in the kit, you don't just drop them in there. There's actually slots for them. You slide them in there, Velcro them down, and that makes it almost like a suitcase. It's got that hard shell to it. There's loads of storage inside these bags on the front, on the inside. You can access it from both sides. There's a cool American flag patch on the front as well. So overall, I am absolutely stoked about these bags. They're one of the best things I've added to the Bronco so far. It's gonna be super useful. They don't obscure your vision whatsoever. So um, I give them a huge thumbs up. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Maybe subscribe, and I'll catch you next time.